Hi, I'm Vibrine Summers and welcome back to another episode of Soul Stirring Astrology where I give you my textured take on the world of astrology. Today I'm looking at the North Node in Scorpio, which means that you have a South Node in Taurus. Now, in your past lives, and maybe in the earlier part of this life, you've got or had a really strong attachment to uh, things. That could be, you know, your, the clothes in your wardrobe, the shoes that you wear, the car that you drive, the house that you live in, your status symbol um, uh, because of the job you've got, certainly financial wealth and abundance that's in your bank account. You've placed such a great uh, attachment to this that actually what you've done is that you've robbed yourself of the opportunity to evolve emotionally, physically, psychologically, and spiritually. And so although you may have amassed all of these things, once you've got the things, you might be looking and thinking, well, what else is there? Um, there may actually develop a void in your life. And that void is speaking to that the physical things that you have will not feel the anxiety that if you feel as if you don't have enough of these things, money, possessions, that you won't be able to A, take care of yourself and B, actually relate to other people. So one of the things that you've grown accustomed to is just maintaining the status quo. In order for you not to become stagnant, you've got to relinquish the status quo, you've got to let go of possessiveness, you've got to let go of stubbornness. Because what you're trying to do is to evolve yourself. You're trying to grow into a person that knows how to bring vitality into their life, but also to live with joy and vitality and see yourself beyond the provider of things solely for the benefit of, of you know, your, your own physical pleasure, I suppose. Because there's more to life than that. And so what you should be doing is looking at what could you grow into? What are some of the talents and skills that you actively have and how could you use those talents and skills to further other people? So with a North Node in Scorpio, Scorpio is about plunging, going beneath the surface. So you could be somebody who's a great psychologist, a private detective. You could be somebody who's a good sort of wealth manager, money manager. So you could work in the fields of investment or insurance or banking. Or you could be using your thoroughness and your determination to actually bring stability to crisis situations. That's where you potentially could really thrive. One of the things that you shouldn't do is actually pursue a career or a job that is a status-driven career or job. Because once the adulation has died down, one, you'll get bored of it, but two, the void that you're trying to fill will show itself again. Because it's not enough. Why? It's not allowing you to grow. And with somebody with the North Node in Scorpio, it's all about um, birth, death, regeneration, and growth. You've got to become the phoenix that rises from the ashes, sometimes actually carrying the flame in your hand. But if you always continually uh, play it safe, you're never going to experience the parameters or breaking the limits of what you ordinarily understand your life to be. Just think about it. Scorpio. Scorpio wants to explore. Scorpio wants a sense of closeness and that's going to give you an indication as to how you might be able to overcome this anxiety because it's in actually reaching out and connecting with other people. Use the power of Scorpio and put that power into building partnerships. And the partnership should be based on actually knowing what the other person or people want from the partnership and actively inviting them as to what they think a good deal would be because if you are the one who's driving it you're always going to be coming from is this enough will i have enough what if it runs out but actually if you're bringing your partner on board they're the ones who are setting the terms which could bring about a better win-win situation and could bring both of you wealth and abundance which is what you are seeking. So it's time for growth. The core thing here is that you're looking to bring vitality back into your life. With the North Node in Scorpio, it's really beckoning you to imagine what could life be? 
what could your life be if you lost all of your possessions? You know, actually think about that. What could your life be? More importantly, who could you become? And who do you need to become in order to traverse from the world of security through to the world of emotional security? That gives you depth understanding and texture and nuance to your life that's what your north node is calling you towards somebody who really embodies this north node in scorpio is uh, another uh, sporting champion icon uh, is martina navratilova so martina has she's got her ascendant in aries she has um, the rule of aries Mars in the 12th house of Pisces and she has her north node in the 7th house of relationships at 29 degrees. So when we think about the 7th house we ordinarily think of the house of um, relationships, intimate relationships, close friendships, business relationships but it's also the house of politics and that's where Martina equally has shone through. So uh, she's a staunch democrat um, even though she was born and raised in a communist country in, in Czechoslovakia, Slovakia, but she's actually uh, uh, renounced uh, communism. And the reason being is because of um, the former Soviet Union having a complete control over the lives of people from Eastern Europe. And so she is uh, a staunch advocate you know, she's very prolific in her commentating, her observations about what life was like living in a communist environment and why um, it's a destructive, in her view, it's a destructive way of, of people um, in terms of how people manage and grow their lives. So here again, here's somebody who went against the grain. She wasn't afraid to lose her identity in order to gain her identity. We also know her from the world of tennis, and there she won, she was the first uh, woman to win 18 Grand Slam titles, followed recently more with um, uh, Serena. She also won 31 Grand, Sa Grand Slam um, uh, women's doubles titles, and she won 10 Grand Slam mixed doubles titles. So um, she has shown her prowess, on the tennis court and that's really shown up by her Aries ascendant and she's got Mars in Pisces with Mars in Pisces in the 12th house that's a clear signature of somebody who will have prominence uh, and domination in in the world it's a 12th house signature and in fact it's Pisces mean literally there isn't anywhere in the world that she could go and people don't know her so um, she also is a very strong advocate for uh, gay and lesbian rights. So Martina embodies what it means to go beneath the surface, to actually renounce what could be seen as, um, you know, the creature comforts, to come back home to who she truly is, to, to bring shade to the nuances of what it is to be underneath the surface, dredge it up and have the confidence and the power to articulate the rights and the wrongs of political systems. So that's it. That's the North Node in Scorpio. And the affirmation is, is that if I resist change, then I will lead a life of stagnation. If I resist change, I will lead a life of stagnation. So that's it. That's the North Node in Scorpio. It's time for you to become the phoenix that rises from the ashes. But in order to do so, embed your life in something that's far more meaningful than the physical things that you have in your world. I'm not saying that they don't have a place. Clearly they do. But don't let them be the sum representation of who you are. So that's it, beautiful people. Another episode in the bag. Put your uh, comments in the comment box below. You know I love to connect with you. Feel free to share this episode with anybody in your network and you can uh, like and subscribe to my channel. If you would like a personal consultation with me, get in touch by bringing samuels at googlemail.com. Take care and I will see you on the next episode. Bye.